Hey guys, in this video I'm going to review this power station from Amp Ace. This is 600 watts output power station with 584 watt hours capacity. In this video I'm going to do in-depth review for this power station. We will do capacity test, we'll do load test, we'll check if it's a pure sign power station and additionally we will disassemble the station to see what is inside this. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. This power station comes in, in two boxes. This is outer and inner box. Then we get in power station itself. And then we get in two accessories with the power station. First is a cigarette lighter port when you can charge or discharge this power station. And then we get in an AC wall adapter. This is just standard power supply with uh, 24 volts and 4 amps output. So it's about 100 watts output. If we look at the power station, we have all inputs and outputs on a front panel. Uh, in the middle, we have screen, which shows how much capacity left and how many hours we can run power station with the current load. Then on the top, we have this nice LED bar, which can be activated with this button. It has five modes, three static, three static modes with a different uh, brightness. Then we have strobe and then we have SOS signal. You cannot turn off LED bar from like first mode, for example. Uh, you have to cycle through all modes to shut this down. So then we have input port right here. It's ac it, it is accepting anywhere from 12 to 30 volts, 100 watts maximum. Then we have DC output with a cigarette lighter port and two 5121 ports. For USB, we have USB-C, and then we have one fast USB and two regular USBs. For AC outlet, we, we got two outlets with 600 watts maximum. Uh, also, this power station supports an A-power mode, which can um, power resistive load up to 1.8 kilowatts. It's just going to reduce voltage and still power this device. And right here, we have two connectors one is for jump starter you can jump start your car by buying additional accessory which costs about thirty dollars on amazon and second is just external battery you can extend the capacity for this power station like basically double it just connecting second battery on this side we have grills for fans on the other side same same grills with actual fans and on the back side we have huge logo 600 watts with the brand some information and uh, what is interesting on amazon you can read that this power station using lithium iron phosphate batteries which can do about uh, usually can do about 2000 cycles up to 80 percent of capacity of course depends how much you're using if you if you using them gently they can do more cycles if you're using them aggressively it will do of course less cycles but right here in um, power station it's saying that this is lithium ion batteries lithium ion batteries will do much less cycles if we open in manual right here we can see that it has lithium ion batteries batteries and the cycle life for these batteries is up to 1000 cycles and then we're going to get 70 percent of capacity so after 1000 cycles we're going to get about 400 watt hours from this power station for me it's a huge misadvertisement between uh, amazon and actual product what we're getting and uh, now let's jump into the tests for the test equipment to test this power station i'm going to use this space heater which has three stages on the first stage it draw about 600 watts then i'm going to use this tester to test dc output from cigarette lighter and usb we'll do 10 minutes test with advertised amperage we'll see how this is going to handle for ac side we're going to do a one hour load test with 600 watts and we're going to check if it's a pure sign um, power station as advertised so let's connect cigarette lighter adapter and uh, in instruction from a car charger from output ports we can draw 10 amps or 168 watts maximum so i'm gonna set as a 10 amps and uh, right now is a 1029 let's come back in a 10 minutes and we will see how this power station handling this load all right we are at 1039 it's still running with the 10 amps output so i'm going to stop this test 
it succeeded. Right now let's do USB output test. So for USB 1 we are getting uh, 2.4 amps. Let's test that. Point four at two point four we're getting four point seven volts. So ten forty. Now let's come back in ten minutes, see if we're still running this test. So we are at ten fifty and uh, we're still running with the two point four amps, so it works fine. Now let's test USB two output, which can give up to three amps. And right now it's 11 a.m. and we're still running at 3 amps, so all USB outputs works well. Now let's quickly test AC output. I'm just going to plug heater on the first stage. And we'll draw about 500 watts. That's interesting. So it's a little bit less than from AC outlet. I guess voltage is uh, lower. So 515 on here, 486 right here. So let's test voltage first. Yeah, and our output is uh, 111 volts. And without load, and without load, we're getting the same output. So this is 110 volts power station. Now let's test if it's a true pure sign output. Yep. All right. Now let's do full charge of this station and uh, do load test. We'll do 600 watts for one hour. To charge this power station, let's try to charge this from a truck. Let's see how quickly uh, it's gonna show it can recharge. So right now battery at 12.2 volts. And we're at 83% of capacity. When car is shut down, we're charging with 50 watts, 47 watts, and it's gonna take from 83% to full charging two hours. If I'm going to start truck, So we're charging at 67 watts and it's going to take 1.4 hours. And uh, now power station charged to 99% of capacity. It just takes 17 watts of charge. So I'm, I will stop charging and uh, let's do one hour load test. I'm going to connect heater with 600 watts and um, this charge is gonna take about 0 0.9 hours per power station. And uh, let's come back in one hour and see results. Power station just shut it down. Time right now is 1.25. And uh, it did work well for an entire hour. Let's see how many watt hours we got. So 475 watt hours with a full load. We can get more capacity if we're gonna draw less uh, wattage from this power station. So charge limit is 12 to 30 volts. Let's try, let's start with 12 volts and we'll go up to 30 volts. All right, so we're supplying 12 volts, five amps maximum for this charger. And um, we're getting 52 watts 
from charging. Now let's try to increase voltage. All right, so we're charging with 106 watts. And when I do 30 volts, it's about 126 watts and it's dropping. So it looks like MPPT charge control is in action. So it's reducing charging to 100, which is a maximum power charging for this power station. So to fully charge this power station from zero to uh, full capacity, it's going to take 5.8 hours. And now let's test a power mode. I have this space heater set up on the third mode, so it's going to draw about 1.6 kilowatts. And uh, let's see what's going to happen when I switch this on. All right, you did see it is jumped to 900 watts, then it's reduced to 600 watts. And voltage is 80 volts AC right now. And now is my favorite part with the power station, disassembling this. And to disassemble the station, it looks easy. We have uh, four bolts on the sides and two bolts for handle. So we just need one key to disassemble this, looks like. All right, and uh, here is the power station fully disassembled. So here is the inverter part. This is a battery with battery management system. And this is front control part. Uh, I was not able to disassemble the battery to see actual cells because right here it's glued by perimeter. I don't want to break this battery. Um, this connector from a battery, it has direct access to the battery right here, awaiting battery management system. And this connector is going to this side right here for jump starter. All other connectors uh, for extended battery right here and the uh, connector which is going to inverter going through battery management system. So in overall, I like like all of these connections so you can easily disassemble or assemble this pack if needed. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be find replacement battery or any other parts, but still uh, nice to see these connectors. One improvement could be made is um, all, conne all connections were glued with this like silicon, but it's supposed to be elastic as I guess, but now if you check, it's like it's basically like crashing. So all connectors was really easy to detach. So it's not holding like it's supposed to do. All right, guys, so that was in-depth testing for this power station. I haven't used it much, but while testing and uh, doing review for this power station, I created a list of my pros and cons. And uh, I will start with the positive things, what I like about this power station. Uh, first is this LED bar. It has nice lights, uh, um, not directional, like flood lights. Uh, which is really nice to have in this power station. Second is price per watt hour. For $400, get power station with 580 watt hours. It's a nice price. Third one, I'm not sure if it's positive, but this power station performed up to specs. This is kind of expected, but you know, sometimes it's not performing uh, per specification. Number four is a turbo function where you can plug appliances which is higher than 600 watts and not overload this uh, power station, which is great. And number five is MPPT charge controller. It actually, it also works as expected, but we did test with a power supply with 12 to 30 volts and it did work fine. It's reducing uh amperage when voltage is growing so we are we did stay with uh, 100 watts now let's uh, move to items that i don't like about this power station or items that could be improved first uh, like i will start with minor it's going to be nice to see some kind of like rubber cover here because accidentally something can go inside this port and just short this Number two is uh, this LED uh, bar. You have to cycle through all five modes. Uh, for example, if I want to have like dimmed mode, I cannot turn this off. I have to go like through all five modes, which is uh, could be improved. Number three is uh, slow charging. You can apply only 100 watts charging for this power station and uh, you need the external power supply. I know some power stations, they have built-in charger. Of course, they're bigger because of that. Um, 
but still if you want to charge your power station and use some and connect some loads and uh, if loads 200 watts you will still drain your power station so even if you have like a lot of ac power you cannot quickly charge this uh, power station number four is uh, no bluetooth or wi-fi connection it's going to be nice to see some maybe just bluetooth bluetooth application where you can control all of these outputs and uh, where you can see status of your battery and number five is a big one for me is misadvertisement when you're gonna buy this power station you will expect that it has lfp batteries which is going to give you 2000 cycles but in reality this is lithium ion batteries which is which is going to give you much less uh, lifetime all right that's all i want to say about this power station thank you for watching and see you later